Today's supercars aren't that easy to improve. Sure, you can add more horsepower, remove weight, make them a little bit tighter, a little bit stronger, a little bit faster. But if you want the number one best way to improve a supercar, take the roof off. And that's exactly what McLaren has done with the 720S Spider. This is the McLaren 720S Spider. The four liter twin turbo V8 in this car generates 720 horsepower. Even though it's convertible, even though it's heavier than the 720S Coupe, this car gets to 62 just as quickly, in 2.9 seconds. And it sounds like this. It is an absolute riot of a supercar to drive. But what's really impressive about it is the fact that you don't really give up much. Yeah, it's heavier, but it's only about 120 pounds heavier. That's not a lot in the world of supercars. And the fact that it's very nearly as fast is huge. 2.9 seconds to 62 miles an hour. It's a tenth of a second slower to 124 miles an hour. Those are crazy stats for a hardtop. But when the, when the convertible version can do it just as well, that is... <laughs> that is a very good thing. This car also handles beautifully. McLaren went to great lengths to engineer its carbon fiber monocoque to accommodate a convertible roof. So it's tight and firm and there's no twist, but it's just as comfortable as a 720S Coupe. It really is the best of both worlds. Yes, it looks intimidating from the outside. It's got big angry flares and scoops and all this carbon fiber and everything, but from behind the wheel, it's very easy to drive it civilly, easily around town. I've got it in manual and sport mode right now, but if I press this button, twist this knob and twist this knob, I'm in automatic, it quiets down. The suspension is very comfortable. McLaren has built the most comfortable supercars on the planet for years now. I could drive this around Detroit on terrible roads and wouldn't think twice about it. But when I want to have fun, it's just as approachable. Let's put it into sport. Put it back in manual. I can dig into the throttle without worrying. The power is so approachable. There's a ton of turbocharged boost, but it doesn't scare you. It doesn't frighten you. You know exactly how the car is going to behave. And that convertible roof is pretty nifty too. It can raise and lower at speeds of up to 30 miles an hour. And to show you what that looks like, I'm going to do it right now. 30 miles an hour. And I press the button. Here we go. Windows drop a little bit. Ta-da, roof is closed. It is now a 720S Coupe. This panel is a bit like Mercedes Magic Sky System. Press a button and it tints up to 95%, which means you're not going to be as hot. When I drove the 570 GT last year, I complained that the glass roof felt a bit like sitting in a microwave as I drove through the Michigan summer. This car won't have that problem. For the 720S Spider, McLaren moved the top, this bit right here, 80 millimeters forward. I have no idea what that is in Freedom units, but it's substantial. Moreover, they curved it. So on a 720S Coupe, the windshield's outermost bits come backwards. It's like this. The 720S Spider is like this. That means getting in and out is easier and visibility is better. This car raises the bar for me personally. When I accelerate, when I go wide open throttle like that, as I'm going to do it again because why not? <laughs> you get this kind of tingling in your face and you feel your organs go backwards. It's like the effect of G-forces on a roller coaster only it's straight backwards instead of up and down. It's, it's a really addicting sensation. And I should probably stop this video soon because if I don't, I'm very concerned that I'm going to get pulled over because it's just too much fun. The real tricky question with this car is, would you buy it over a 720S Coupe? The Coupe is going to be cheaper. It's going to be the higher performer, no matter how thoughtful and intelligent McLaren was designing this thing. But 
I don't think I could justify going with the coupe. The convertible is just so competent. It's 99% of the car, but with 101% of the joy. 